Coldfoot, Alaska, 55 miles north of the Arctic Circle, the midway point on the state's infamous Dalton Highway. Um, it's a small town. There's actually one resident that lives here. But back in 1898, thousands of Stampeders poured into the area in search of gold. Coldfoot Camp soon boasted a gambling hall, two roadhouses, seven saloons, and nearly a dozen working girls, as legend has it. It's got a lot of history to it. And Coldfoot's history has been well documented through photographs and the writing on the wall. It's a little truck stop. Signatures of those who have come and gone and messages for those who have not yet arrived. So the message tree will leave messages to the truckers. Communicating in the easiest way possible. Have you seen Jack or have you seen Robert? And... No, but I'll leave him a message. That's where we leave it. It's more like a small Arctic outpost these days. In fact, so small, if you blink while driving, you just might miss it. It's funny, sometimes they'll just drive right on by. A few minutes later, you see them coming back. One group who rarely misses a chance to visit Coldfoot are the brave Hall Road truckers, who stop in daily for the necessities, fuel, food, and unique conversation. Probably the biggest, uniquest part about this place in Coldfoot is that it's here. The area was originally called Slate Creek back in the late 1800s, but changed its name after only two years, when a group of gold prospectors got cold feet about toughing it out through a harsh Alaskan winter. There's a lot of history there. In fact, it turns out, more history than solid gold. And these units are actually where we stand right now. And for the last 40 plus years, the town has primarily existed to support Alaskan gold of another kind, liquid gold. The truck stop's really why we're here. Coldfoot is the halfway point on the 414 mile supply route between Fairbanks and oil rich Prudhoe Bay. I suppose you could call it some kind of hangout, but when it's your only option, you really don't have much choice. The world's northernmost truck stop has now become somewhat of a tourist stop for those brave enough to take on the highway dubbed as the most dangerous in the United States. The last big addition was, was just the spot where they call the trucker's table over there. Along with the bragging rights of being an ice road trucker, apparently too comes prestige. So you've seen the sign that said truckers only. And just like in Hollywood, the stars don't always have the time or energy to greet their fans. We do have tourists to come up, and they really don't want to stand or mingle sometimes. A not-so-subtle reminder to any brave tourists who make the trip to this makeshift town. You guys ready? Uh, ready. I'm ready. Enjoy the short stay, but don't get cold feet when it comes time to leave. Truck drivers do bite. Perhaps that's why Coldfoot, Alaska only claims a population of one.